Well, I, I was approached to do it. Um, it wasn't something I did off my own bat. Um, I was approached initially by an, um, an Australian organisation um, campaigning for clemency on behalf of two Australian nationals. And um, Napalm Death, if, if anybody's familiar with the history, we have always had a general stance on human rights, um, a general humanitarian stance. And, and so, to be honest, it was something that I, I just simply couldn't turn away from. I mean, because to do so would just to be negligent as a human being. So, so I, I, knowing that um, Mr. Widodo was a, apparently a fan of the band, he's been photographed many times in the shirts. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was an ideal opportunity to, to make so, headway. So Mark, uh, I, I would like to quote a part of your open letter to the Indonesian president, and it says, to my mind, your election platform promises of moves towards a more Egalitarian civic structure means protection at all levels and capital punishment can only take things backwards in that respect. Has there been any response from the Indonesian president? No, I mean, I haven't heard anything yet. Um, but that's not to say that nothing's going on, of course, because I, I do understand, you know, the wheels of uh, government sort of grind quite slowly. So. So, I mean, that, that's for one thing. The second thing is that, obviously, you can't give up hope because this is an ongoing process. Um, and um, so we'll just wait and see, really. 